good day shooter this time we're going to be doing a comparison between the three uh, rifle skulls that i was able to borrow from friends i got the loophole uh, mark 5 hd the 5 to 25 56 i got the vortex racer gen 2 and i got the nice four night force a 5 to 25 56 f1 with uh, the black ones i got them with the tremor 3 which is my preferred reticle at this time the first aspect we're going to be talking about is going to be the warranty and unquestionably, the Vortex already took the kind of uh, make a movement in the rifle scope market. Uh, because of this warranty that was issued, they, it kind of forces the uh, uh, Smith & Bender and other European brands to start selling uh, their uh, rifle scope for less. Because this one, I believe it was a 2017 or something, that this one scored number one on PRS matches. You can verify that fact on Precision Rifle uh, blog that it was the most common use. So unquestionably the warranty, regardless that you are the sixth, eighth, ninth owner, if you ever break this one, they will replace it for a brand new one or any Vortex F product unquestionably. It's just no need to uh, fill out any formulary or anything. It's just plain and simple. The availability, one more time, Vortex is the most uh, affordable. So every gun store that you go, every gun show, you will always see the Vortex available more than the two others which are uh, pricier. After market uh, parts, that is, I believe, in between the Vortex and Knife Force. Knife Force, the rings, they're really made out of titanium. They're built like tank. If you ever break one of those, uh, I don't know, you should, in my opinion, you're kind of special. Uh, they brag so much about the quality of the rings or any of their accessories that if you ever lap them, you already voided their warranty. They re they're really proud of the quality they're capable of, of producing. Their uh, lens, a uh, rifle scope cover that are made out of a canvas, heavy duty, everything. I mean, they all kind of have like excellent uh, accessories depending on the lens cover. In my opinion, the loophole they made the best one, however, they are not compatible with any of the two others, so they are just proprietary. Uh, the warranty on the vortex for any of their accessories is just unquestionable. No matter which one you have, they're gonna replace it to you within a week. As, as soon as you return the uh, busted one. And then they all make uh, rings, uh, bubbles. Oh no, Lupul does not make any kind of bubble. I ended up using a Vortex bubble for the Lupul, so I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, their weight, the Vortex is the heaviest one of the three of them. Then uh, Night Force is the second one, and Lupul is on the lightest one of the three of them. A lot of military, they prefer the loopholes because they don't want to get, get too tired in the middle of a mission. The price, this would be the Die Force is the highest one on the on the market. There will be loophole and finally Vortex that makes it the most common among a shooter. Night vision capabilities, all of them, they have night vision capability. The night vision levels on the Vortex, they are way too much. I think they really, they increased it. When you crank it up all the way to the top on the night vision uh, ray light for, uh, for illumination capability they, you're gonna see a whole halo on the objective lens it's just way too much the loophole and the night force is more subtle is something to be uh, you know it's been used for longer with the night vision uh, devices of the three of them of their night vision the, only the night force has the capacity to switch between red or green light the red with the with mostly preferred by hunters or people who operate on green background environments while the uh, green one, it is mostly used for people who were uh, deployed in the Middle East countries during the previous war the United States was involved because of the contrast. So whoever you see red is the best contrast or green is the best contrast on your night vision, it depends on the background. What you're looking for is going to be the best contract, contrast. Uh, military and law enforcement uh, discount, the three of them, we're going to give you any discount as soon as you... Uh, show them your certification or proper ID. A PRS, extreme long range placement, the three of them, they are always fighting for the first, second, third place. But the three of them will, all, will always end up among the five uh, finalists. Other magnifications available, uh, either the loophole or the knife force attacker, they will have another uh, variation with magnification seven to 35, both preferred for by uh, extreme long range uh, shooters. A few snipers when they are scouting enemy troops, but the 
you know, having a, a 35 magnification, is, it's not always the best thing. The, uh, the wobble is just way too much. You're going to have immediately to use a tripod. A competition ready calls the Vortex use the EBR dash seven C, which I love. I have a lot of rounds using this one. It's really uh, it used to be my favorite. And then the uh, Lupol, I have the they have the CCH two, and they recently uh, disclosed the PR two something like that. It's just, just a brand new one. And then the Night Force, they have the uh, MR dash XT which is the three of them are a more simplified uh, Christmas tree reticle for competitors or people who just prefer them. The turrets, the rotation on the turrets between Lupul and Nyford, every time you rotate them, it's going to be only 10 mils per rotation. Then they both will have their indicator. Uh, Vortex is going to have like a stick coming out on the side. Lupul is going to, uh, the lip over here is going to uh, go on the inside and then the upper uh, tip the metal tip is gonna protrude come out when you're on the third rotation knife force the only indicator of rotation half it's only on its base it doesn't have an indicator however knife force has the 12 mils per rotation that's why a lot of the extreme long range shooters they prefer this one because with only two turns you already are on 24 mils of elevation which is an exaggeration these two you're gonna have to do a third rotation so you have all flavors out there The zero stop, the three of them are going to have a zero stop. The knife force, the lacks of a minus a 0 0.5 mils when you get to your zero stop. All the clicks are very audible, very consistent, very uh, repeatable. Let's see if I can get them on camera. This is for the knife force. It's not mushy, you can hearly you can perfectly hear the, all the clicking for the vortex. If you don't pop this out beside the... This has the zero lock mechanism plus a locking mechanism. If you don't uh, lift this turret up, you won't be able to do any kind of adjustment. And then the loophole, you're going to have to press the the lips over here before you do any kind of adjustment on the first uh, rotation. No mushiness, no nothing funny. The three of them are really like really excellent quality, nothing to say wrong against any of them, it's just different way approaches. Generally speaking, when you're gonna buy, when you buy either one of them, I would highly recommend you to stick to the same brand on your rings. Yes, you can switch, you can use uh, rings depending on the, if you have the right uh, tube diameter among them. But uh, with my uh, loophole, I was able to use the 35 millimeter high rings from Vortex. However, I was not able to clear uh, the AR platform rails on the top and I wasn't able to clear the night vision mount for my uh, MacPool Pros uh, Remington 700. And you won't be able to clear either for the MDT uh, ESS full rail on the top so I would highly recommend it to stick to the same brand on the rail and go for the high or XL high or whatever it's called just to make sure it's going to be compatible if you are not sure about which one is going to be the most uh, clear for you or the one with the best night vision capability I will definitely call you to uh, print the so-called uh, scope resolution testing chart that I mentioned in previous videos for those who have not followed my channel. Uh, this is for the uh, clarity of the lens when you compare several of them. So you compare up to a, a hundred yards, I believe, and those are for meters. And then you see which one can make more clear image up to the lowest, you know, the narrowest, the smallest one. So you can make your own conclusion. If you're going to compare onto night vision capability, you go to thingaccuracy.com and then you uh, pretty much do the comparison on the red line. Uh, this one over here to see which one you can spot better up to the closest to 15. So don't let anyone tell you which one is better at night time. Uh, you can make your, uh, your own conclusion. As I said at the beginning, this is not a paid advertising video. This is just my opinion. You are more than welcome to defer uh, from my opinion. Just uh, please leave your comments below. Which one would you prefer? Oh, 
among those three, which, uh, which one I should have included if I would have the opportunity to uh, video on this one. Uh, thank you for uh, liking, for subscribing, for sharing amongst friends. You'll have a wonderful time.